Hello and welcome back. So in this video, we are going to create this visualization. So we have a bunch of ellipses, uh, concentric ellipses. And uh, as their size increase, uh, their rotation with respect to the horizontal axis also slowly increase. And we have a slider here, which uh, we can use to control the uh, angle between two consecutive ellipses. So let's move to the online P5 text editor to get started with coding. So I'm going to first change the dimensions of the canvas to some values that I'm most comfortable with. Uh, I'm going to change the color of the background. Then I'm going to draw an ellipse at the center of the screen. 150. Uh, I don't need the fill of fill for the ellipse, white fill. I'm going to remove that by calling no fill. And I want the stroke color to be white. All right. Then I'm going to st um, store these two variable uh, values uh, to variable major axis len equal to 100 const minor axis len equal to uh, I'm going to derive the minor axis length from the major axis. Axis, axis length into 0 0.5. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is uh, draw a bunch of ellipses. I'm having a for loop. I less than 20. I plus plus. I'm going to put the whole thing inside the for loop okay uh, let's store this value in a global variable right number of stars equal to 20 okay now what we want to do is to uh, as as we draw more and more ellipses its size should increase so we need to have a variable to keep track of the size difference let's Call it as size diff and what I'm going to do is uh, before that we need to have a variable where we are going to store the minimum length of the major axis major axis min len let's give it as 10 and then I'm going to increase the length of the major as axis uh, as we iterate through the loop size diff all right um, let's increase the size number of stars um, let's have this value also in a variable width to height width height ratio equal to 0 0.7 okay and this is 40 okay now what we want to do is to uh, rotate the ellipse as it's as we iterate through the uh, loop so there is a rotate function before that uh, we have to first shift the coordinate system to the center before we call the rotate function to rotate the ellipses why we have to do this is because if you are a little bit familiar with p5js you will know that for in P5, the, the center of the coordinate system is at the top left. So this is the plus X axis. This is the plus Y axis. And if we have something drawn here, and if we call the rotate function by passing some angle like pi by three or something, what will happen is the whole thing rotates to uh, get something like this. We don't want that. We want the uh, we want the things to rotate with respect to center. So first, we have to shift the coordinate system to the center. We have to shift the coordinate system to the center. And if we rotate after that, uh, we will we can rotate in this way. Okay. So that is what we are going to do. We are going to shift the coordinate system to the center that translate width by 2 height by 2 
and then uh, we are going to draw the ellipse at 0 0 which is the new origin and then we are going to call rotate function we can pass some random value like 0 0.1 all right <laughs> we got a rough sketch of uh, the first visualization let's keep this value to be more precise so uh, what we want is if the initial ellipse is this the final ellipse should be rotated at an angle of 180 degree so the intermediate ellipse like will be like this and the final will be rotated at an angle of 180 degree so um, let's create a variable called rotation gradient and let's assign the value of rotation gradient to be pi by number of stars and we are going to pass this value in the rotate function okay we got what we want so uh, now let's create a slider create slider uh, and rotation gradient slider rotation gradient slider equal to create slider uh, let's refer the p5 documentation to see the arguments taken by create slider function p5 create slider so uh, yeah the first value is minimum minimum and the second uh, second argument is maximum value and the third argument is the current value and fourth argument is the step so uh, let's see let's give as something like minus one minus one one and the current value should be rotation gradient and the step should be like 0 0.01 okay and then we can give this here dot value dot value gives the current value let's see what happens yeah so this is what we want i think we can reduce the uh, extreme values a little bit more i'm going to give it as 0 0.2 okay all right so this is the final sketch that we want so i will save this sketch and share the link in the description of the youtube video um, you can uh, take this code and play around with it so thank you for watching